I started to play the trumpet when I was 11 years old. And soon I discovered that the trumpet was my ticket to freedom. I was born in 1966, but with a slight handicap of my left arm. Short underarm and really weak wrist. In my life, my handicap didn't hold me back. It moved me forward to the stage, my safe haven. I was able to become someone with the trumpet as my shield where behind I hide, show myself and take the advantages in life. What's your trumpet? What's your unique skill you always can rely on and you're recognized for? My journey in life was one where I became the solo trumpet of the Rotterdam Philharmonic Orchestra and the Netherlands Wind Ensemble. Traveling around the world, playing in the most beautiful concert halls for very important audiences. I've played with Pavarotti, traveled with the Queen. A dream life, right? But the reality was different. My ongoing red race of addicted success and artist life, I started to feel heartless. Feelings of fear and loneliness occurred more and more. For instance, playing Mahler Fifth Symphony with the famous Russian conductor Valery Gergiev. First thing in the new year, just after Christmas. Mahler's Fifth Symphony is one of the most demanding pieces for a trumpet player. So imagine a full concert hall. Quarter past eight. The orchestra is ready, tuned and waiting for the conductor to come in. And then he comes in and we hear <laughs> Conductor points at me because I have to start the symphony all by myself a true death march But this moment, thinking back of this moment, I thought, well, is this my march of life? I wanted to play and feel the freedom of play. And play has such a nice acronym. Practice like a youngster. Like my little son, my six-year-old boy, Boas, taught me when he was playing with Lego. And I asked him, Boas, what are you building? Took some time for him to answer. And then after a while, he turned around and he said, nothing. I'm just building. He has no goal. He doesn't work to watch an end result. He has no KPIs. He just builds because he wants to. When did we do that for the last time? Just do the things because we want them to do and not because they serve a certain strategy or meets criteria. Five years ago, I quit the orchestra as a trumpet player. And by stopping to play 
I started to play again. But my tune, like my little Samboas taught me. The last five years, I was a manager, manager creations and innovation of my beloved orchestra. And this space gave me and the orchestra great new opportunities to create new values with my team on the legitimacy of a top orchestra. But the greatest treasure I found by putting down my horn was that for the first time in my life, I was able to embrace my handicap. And the trumpet became my friend and not my shield anymore. So, if we lower our shield, throw, uh, showing our true face, our pure pose, our purpose, apparently we live today in the tinder of life where we are forced to react fast. But what if we stop reacting and start creating, breathing in, because before we start to blow? Actually, you're doing this already, because you came here today to be inspired, to breathe in. So from tomorrow on, you're going to blow out your all-embracing sound. And your pure tone shall be recognized. A couple of months ago, I came to the point that I completely quit the orchestra. If the line breaks, the bird is free. Holding space, by holding space, Many great things happened. Trusting the moment to breathe in before I started to play. And one of the greatest things that came on my path was that I'm a composer now. Creating music as a mood modulation for healthcare, well-being, people, and many more. Music from a playful beginner's mind, without assumptions, that enables people to go inside and to breathe in, comes in without knocking, and is empowering everyone's playful creation mind. Today, we share our premiere with you. So, sit back, relax, close your eyes if you want, and breathe in the things that inspired you today. And let's start creating. 